The question asks, what is the percentage composition of sulfur in ammonium sulfate? To answer this, we must first calculate the mass of sulfur in our ammonium sulfate, and then we need to calculate the mass of our whole compound, and then we'll find the ratio of those two masses. So let's get started. Calculate the mass of our sulfur first. We can see here the mass of our sulfur is 32.1, and we only have one atom of sulfur in our ammonium sulfate, so we just get 1 times 32.1, giving us 32.1 atomic mass for our sulfur. All right, so now let's calculate the mass of the rest of our elements. So we've got some nitrogen in there as well. So we can see from our atomic uh, periodic table, the mass of our nitrogen is 14, and we have two atoms of nitrogen. So two times 14, of course, would give us 28 for atomic mass. Our hydrogen has an atomic mass of one, and we have eight atoms of hydrogen. So eight times one giving us an atomic mass of eight for our hydrogen in our compound. Finally, we have our oxygen with an atomic mass of 16, and we have four atoms of oxygen. So four times 16 giving us 64 for our atomic mass for our oxygen in our ammonium sulfate. Okay, so we will add all of those up to calculate the total mass of our compound. So our 28 plus eight plus 32.1 plus 64, giving us a total atomic mass of 132.1 for our whole ammonium sulfate. Now remember, we wanna know the percentage of sulfur in our compound. So we're going to compare the mass of the sulfur to the whole mass of our ammonium sulfate. Finding this ratio, we want it as a percentage, so we would have to multiply this by 100, giving us 24.3%. That is the percentage, so almost a quarter of our whole compound's weight, or its mass, is coming from our sulfur.